Hi everyone, my name is Sankat Savan and today I am going to present a topic on classification of bridge. So, the bridge is any structure which divides any railway, any rail, uh, railway span or any waterway which is generally used to transport the water from one place to the another over an, obstruct, over an obstruction. The bridges are which are mainly used uh, for the any pedestrian or any for military purpose. It also used for traveling, uh, transportation of the gas lines from one point to the another point. So, the bridges are generally divided into the uh, according to the functions, the material of the construction, the method of construction which they use, according to their use, along with the according to the span and the superstructure and interspan relation. So, along and uh, the type of the type of services and the duration which we use. So, the first thing is according to the functions. So, in, in this type, the bridges are generally divided into four types: aqueduct, viaduct, pedestrian, and the highway. So the aqueduct is a main aqueduct is a uh, structure which usually allows the water to pass from the one point to the another. The viaduct, which is the same as an aqueduct, but in this viaduct, the transportation can be done from the upper side of the structure, which is as shown in this picture. Apart from that, the next is a uh, pedestrian. The pedestrian is generally which is used in the normal cities to any cross the crossing of the highways. The main example, the best example for that. Thing. And the highways, the high, in the metro cities, uh, we generally use the highway bridges to avoid any uh, to avoid uh, to avoid any uh, traffic uh, traffic problems. Uh, so, the according to material of construction, they are generally constructed as a bridge stress. They are using uh, they are made of a bridge stress along with the reinforced concrete steel. They can also be made of the wood and the combination of various of these elements. According to the material of construction, they are just pin connectors, riveted or the welded. Uh, this type of uh, connections are uh, used in the uh, construction depending on the availability of this uh, job, availability of these uh, connections along with the requirement. So the degree of redundancy, the bridge can be the determinant in type of non-determinant type also. The span in the span, the bridges can be a short span, short span, long span, they can be also in the code in nature. So the next is the according to the uh, form of the superstructure which is divided into slab. Beam, truss, arch, suspension, and cables, and the cable step. Then, according to interspan relation, we divide the bridge into the simple, uh, in the, uh, continuous, cantilever, simple, uh, simple spans, and the cantilever spans with suspended load. So, in simple beam, a uh, simple span, so we have span continuously between the two supports. While in the cantilever span, we have cantilever approach like this. While in the continuous span, we have this uh, span from the starting from the starting point and end to the end point. In the cantilever spans with suspended load, we have the three spans in which the uh, first is cantilever, second is also cantilever, and in between it is suspended. So, the according to the level related to the highest flood level. So, the bridges are mostly concerned of waterways, but the uh, rivers or any waterway will get flooded after some in certain situations. So, for the, by taking that consideration, we divided into the high flood level and submersible bridges. This is the bridge which is uh, constructed in the Newcastle, which is situated in the England. In this bridge, the height of the bridge is way too high so that it will never be flooded. While in this case, it is a submersible bridge. Uh, if the ship has to go from the one place to another and in between the bridge is coming, so by for the travel for the travel of the ship, this span will go under the under the water level and the ship is allowed to pass. After the ship is get uh, fast. The span comes uh, to the main level and the transportation can be worked smooth as uh, before. So, the according to the method of the clearance navigation, this is a modular. In this type, uh, the bridges, uh, while transportation, uh, it, this type of bridge is generally used on the uh, rivers or uh, rivers or any lakes. In this type, the bridge will move in the upward direction to uh, pass to allow to pass the, uh, any ship or any big ships uh, from the river. In this type, the uh, the bridge will move aside like a uh, door which is inside of one end to, uh, for the water movement and the third type of the transportation bridge. The next type is according to the type of service and the duration of the use. The bridge can be the permanent or temporary or military purpose. In the permanent, uh, we, what we use, the permanent bridges are just like a normal bridge which we see in the metropolitan cities or any city, the temporary bridges. While construction of the bridge to avoid any uh, Traffic problems. We provide. Uh, we construct temporary bridge so as to maintain the traffic flow continuously. At the same time, the uh, construction of the bridge can be worked as the military bridge. Military bridge is normally used in the military areas. Uh, 
these bridges are extremely uh, having the high strength and they are fire. then the rate of the construction of these bridges is very fast. The next thing is according to the form of a superstructure, this is a slab or bridge. It's a very extreme simple type of the bridge. It is generally used for the span of 100 to 200 meters. This type of a bridge is known as the uh, girder bridge. Uh, the span limit for this type of bridge is generally based from 40 to 500 meters. In the next slide, we have a truss bridge. In the truss bridge, uh, the members are formed at truss in the superstructure and there is a deck on which the wafers can be passed. These trusses can be, uh, the truss members are generally uh, under the load of, uh, under two types of load only. One is compression, second is tension. This type of bridge is suspension bridge. Uh, this suspension bridge is the best example for this bridge is a Bombay Bavari uh, ceiling. In this bridge, the main member which is here is under the compression and the uh, steel wires uh, which are attached to this main member are always in the tension. This is known as an arch bridge. The arch bridge is usually provided when you have a fixed horizontal fixed support. This bridge is mostly constructed in the type of various uh, manners just like a hingeless uh, arch, three hinge arch bridge, two hinge arch bridge. Depending upon the number of hinges, its flexibility get increased and, and it will also help to uh, resist bending movements. That's for our thinking.